So for those of you who um, have had your home for quite a while and you've got your you know, trusted insurance company, you need to maybe go back to your insurance company and just remind them or ask them if they would like to just reassess your insurance coverage. Mm -hmm. And why would you do that? Well, let me tell you, just I'm going to give you a short story that happens Sorry, to I me. <laughs> two years ago, no. two years ago, uh, uh, we made a, an offer in a house that was freely vacant. Mm -hmm. So we were back and forth because it was a short sale. Mm -hmm. So when we almost got a, close to uh, to the closing, we went over there. What happens? The house was floating. <gasps> the whole oh, no. house it was destroyed by the water. Oh, no. How did that happen? Well, I guess I think it was the heater, just something pumped. Was it in the winter? Uh, it was close to winter, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was after winter, yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it was good for my clients because the insurance got a, updated the whole house, the floor and everything. That was great for them, but they, they, they can happen to anybody, you know, mm -hmm. that, and they don't know that it can happen. Yeah, I hate having a, an empty house in the wintertime that we're listing. Oh. I feel like I have to check it every day to make sure nothing's blown up me above too, there. Me too, me too. Even if you winterize it, you still don't know. And the thing is, you can go today and maybe tomorrow is going to happen, mm -hmm. you know. So I try to go like every week. Mm -hmm. I even talk to my clients if they're around, if, if mm -hmm. they can be able to see them too, because it's good to take care. you got to check on it. With that said, the root of this whole conversation was to call your insurance agent. And I know you guys don't want to pay more than you want to pay. Who wants to pay more? But God forbid something actually happens um, to your house and you don't have the coverage because now it's so much more expensive for materials and for labor and all those things that would help with replacement of whatever's gone wrong in your house. If you don't have the coverage, Where's it going to go? Where's it going to come? So let's say that you have a, you bought a house that is not really finished, the basement. So mm -hmm. you do the basement and you finish. And you, what do you do? Well, do you, you talk to your insurance? You pull permits first. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, no, seriously. Yeah, that, that's people what you have don't to pull do. permits yeah. all day long. Yeah. And the trade will come in and say, yeah, you don't need to worry about yeah. that. Well, permits are nothing. Permits don't cost anything other than time. I mean, mm. well, they do cost something, but they're not crazy money. Uh, so, legal. well, you have to pull permits, though, because if a fire originates in the basement and they roll it back to a non-permitted basement um, electrician or you DIY in it, they don't have to cover it. Your whole house can burn. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to cover that because it wasn't permitted and, um, what do I say, approved or whatever by a licensed contractor or the county. So if you're finishing your basement please entertain going and pulling permits. You have to give them the um, floor plans and the things that you intend to do. You're gonna to have to have outlets every six feet. All these things, play the game, mm -hmm. but play the game so you will be benefited if something bad goes wrong. And even when you wanna sell the house, you have another things that you can be able to market. Yes. Because that's most important. Because Absolutely. You know, sometimes you're saving some money, but you're gonna lose some money if you don't be able to do the right thing. So. When you finish your basement and you've got you've pulled your permits, let your insurance company know also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's kind of the um, back and circling back to the beginning of this conversation. You have to have everything covered. Yes. That's a lot of money. That's a big investment to have your home without. I mean, you can lose your investment for life, and that's really. What do you think about shopping insurance? It's a great idea. I mean, there's some people that they are I mean, really... like, we're super loyal yeah. to the company we've been with because we were born into this company. <laughs> well, I would say to you... But I think it's high. Yeah, it is. But it's good to have people or somebody that you trust mm -hmm. that they can shop around for you. Mm -hmm. and they give you the best option. Because sometimes we don't know too much about, you know, we don't know about uh, insurance. But we know for sure that sometimes you say, oh, my God, I'm just going to pay lower uh, monthly rate, whatever. Mm -hmm. And... What is this covering? So it's kind of like real estate agents. It is. It is. Is the cheapest always the best? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but what I think, I think what we all need to do is make sure and do a comparison shopping. Yes. With your mortgage broker, with your insurance, mm -hmm. with your contractors, get everything in writing. I reiterate, 
my conversations a lot of times in an email. I'm just like, hey, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page and that I understand what you're saying and you understand what I'm saying. So I put it in writing. Um, so I just feel like shop, there's something actually called an insurance broker. Mm -hmm. um, an insurance broker can look at everybody's insurance plans for you. They may share this, they will share this information with you, but the company that ends up getting your business is what is who pays him. It's a, it's a free deal for you, really, to have this yes. knowledge level to help you out. So I think it's worth entertaining. And we'll put um, an insurance information broker mm -hmm. that we know yeah. um, down in here for you all. To and we work with to. different, um, you know, vendors and stuff like that. One of the things that we do is uh, we try to get, like, feedback from them, from our clients, because we want to be sure that they give in the service that we are expecting mm -hmm. for our clients because we are really a very... Uh, professional guys that we want to everybody to be very a uh, professional way to be consulting and you guys have to know that we don't get a kickback from these people. oh no 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 our kickback quote unquote is our peace of mind knowing that our clients and the people that we refer to them are well taken care of yes that's what we do we don't get a kickback from our lenders title companies anything nobody but it's our family of vetted um, professionals that are going to take good care of you yeah. so we're working with the best that's for sure. That's and they're not out. About. Yeah, oh, they're out. <laughs> Please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll send you our list of vendors. Or if you have a question about someone or something um, that we can certainly refer from our world, we will do so. Missy, we're going to share with them not only the vendors from uh, you know um, insurance, but we're going to vendor for plum, plum. Uh, anybody that works for us, if you feel like an electrician that is working with us, that we know, painters. painters. I'm interviewing painters right now. <laughs> <laughs> trying to paint my house we have been cool platinum or whatever that vanilla color is for years so this girl's gonna add a little color so we're gonna post that uh, every information all the vendors that we use so you can by any chance if you feel like it just please uh, get in touch with them because yeah reach out really, we'll send yeah. you our list of yeah. whatever it is you need